So one of the best ways to build audience retention inside of your live stream is by allowing your audience to control what music that they're listening to. So in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way on how you can set up song requests for your live stream on Twitch. So the first thing you want to do is head on over to the official website, songify.overcode.tv. And I'm going to make sure that I have a link down in the description below so that we can go directly to this page. So what you can do is go right here where it says download new for free. You can click this to download it, or you can go down to the GitHub page, which is right here. And you can scroll down under the assets and you can click right here to just install the zip file. Now, once you have it downloaded, you're going to see it right here inside of your downloads. You can double click it. And then you're going to go ahead and click on more info and click run anyway. This is 100% completely safe for your computer. I can guarantee it. I use this for my live streams. I have no issues with my PC whatsoever. Now, once you extract the file and run it, you're going to be met with this box right here. So the way on how this works is you need to make sure that you have all four of these little triangles checked. That's the only way that your Songify is going to work. If one of these are not checked, your Songify is not going to work properly. So what we're going to do is head on over to file. We're going to go to settings. And then the first thing that we want to do is head on over to Twitch. So there's two sections for Twitch, one for the bot and one for your account. You want to make sure that you link both of those to your Twitch account. So go ahead and log in with your Twitch. And then you want to make sure that you give your bot permission to access your Twitch account. So we're going to click yes. So once you finish signing in with your account, you're going to notice that we have two check marks right here. So we're currently on the right track. So what we're going to want to do now is scroll down to Spotify and then we want to sign in with our Spotify account. And for me, mine's automatically linked, but you're probably going to have to sign in with your Spotify account which is perfectly fine. Now, if that's not working for you, what you can do is sign in manually using your client ID, your client secret that's on the Spotify developers website. If you don't know how to get there, only thing you have to do is click this question mark. It's right on the right hand side. It's going to bring up the page. And then what you can do is click the first link that's going to bring you directly to the developer Spotify website and you can create the application now the good thing about this is it gives you a complete breakdown on how you're able to set this up so if you need help just read this article that's right here okay so now that we have three check marks the very last thing that we need to do is start the web server so it's going to come right here and then we're going to click the button that says start web server and that is it we now have all four check marks we can go ahead and automatically start the web server every time our computer starts just by clicking this right here. So we enabled it. So now every time you basically start your computer it's automatically going to connect to Songify. So that way you don't have to come in and manually do this every time you want to start your live stream. Okay. So now that we have Songify configured, we now need to set up our song request and there's two ways on how you're able to do this. And I'm going to show you how you can do both. The first way is by commands. So if you come up to the commands tab, you will see that it's already set inside of Songify for you. So you just need to enable them. So if you want to allow for your viewers to request music, you can just check the first one. If you want them to see exactly what song that they're listening to right now, you can check them and you can just go by one by one and see exactly which one you want inside of your stream for your viewers to do. Now, the second way is to have your chat redeem it on Twitch. So what you can do is come over to your creator dashboard here on Twitch. You're going to go over to viewer rewards, power ups and channel points. You're going to manage the power ups and channel points. And then if you scroll down to the very bottom, we're going to add a new custom reward. We're going to name this as song requests. And then you're going to enable the feature that allows your viewer to enter in a text. From here, we're going to set the amount on how much we want this reward to be. For me, I'm going to set mine to 50. You can change the background color to whatever you like. I'm going to change mine to like this 
blue color here. And then if you want to enable the option uh, for cooldown limits, you can do that. Um, if you want to enable the skip reward request queue, you can also do that, but that will be entirely up to you. Now, once you have everything set up the way how you want it, you're going to go ahead and press create. Now we're going to come back inside of Songify. We're going to go over to rewards. We're going to refresh this because we just created a new reward. So we're going to click on this drop down menu. And now we should be able to see where it says song requests. We're going to click it. And then on the right hand side, there is an option for you to click on a plus icon. You need to click that. Once that's done, we're going to come over to song requests. We're going to enable the channel rewards. And then if you want to clear the queue, you can enable that as well. I'm going to do that. If you want to block any explicit songs, you can go ahead and do that. And then if you want unlimited song requests, you can go ahead and enable that as well. You want to make sure that you choose who you want to have the ability to do song requests for. And then the same thing here. So you want to make sure you select whichever one you choose. We're going to come over to Twitch and then we're automatically going to announce the song to chat. So that way they know that their request has been submitted. Once that's done, we're going to come back to Twitch. And then we're going to test out our request. And that's it. So now when you go to Spotify and once you play the song, it is now going to go straight to your queue. So you're done. Now, I do hope that this video was helpful to you. And since you made it to the end, make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe as well as turning on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up on this channel. And in case you want to be able to have a music overlay for your Twitch, make sure you click this video right here as I walk you through step by step on how to set up a music overlay for your Twitch channel.